Gumdrop is a very useful tool that allows you to distribute your whitelist token at a much cheaper cost. It allows you to create a page that other people can come to and transfer the whitelist token to themselves. They will fund the associated token accounts and pay gas so that you don't need to, which means all you need to do is create the token accounts and mint the supply and create Gumdrop. And the rest is paid by the people transferring the whitelist token to themselves, which saves you a lot of money. So Gumdrop is extremely helpful. It's a good, cheap distribution method. Let me show you how it works. So the first thing we want to do is install Gumdrop. Head over to Gumdrop's GitHub page and let's install it. We can run git clone to install Gumdrop in our projects directory. Once we clone the directory, we want to make sure we npm install so that we can install all the dependencies for this project. The next command we want to run is gumdrop help create so we can see what settings we can use when creating our gumdrop. So as I mentioned, gumdrop allows someone to transfer the whitelist token to themselves. However, you don't want simply anyone to be able to do that. So gumdrop has some access controls. The most common one is wallets. You can specify when you create a gumdrop what wallets are allowed to access the gumdrop tool. And so only those wallets can actually obtain a whitelist token. Gumdrop also has some other settings like email, SMS, and Discord. In this tutorial, we're only going to go over Discord as that's probably the most common way after wallets. The main thing we need to do when creating a gumdrop app is to create our distribution list and specify either the wallets or the Discord IDs in that list. So I'm just gonna copy over one example from that distribution list and go to my gumdrop file. I'll create a whitelist.json file and paste it in there. In the first example I'll show you, I'll use a wallet. So I'm gonna create one and then I will copy over my wallet, my browser's wallet and paste it in the handle. Now I'm going to go back to the gumdrop create command and put in all the inputs I need to create my gumdrop with this wallet distribution list. So for the claim integration, I'm going to specify that I'm using candy machine with just candy. I need to specify my candy machine ID. I can get this from my candy machines cache file, which I spoke about in my previous video. And then I want to get the path to my file system wallet and set the distribution method to wallets. And finally, give the name of my distribution list, which is whitelist.json. Great, so now that I've run this command, I can see that it was successful and my gumdrop was created. Amazing. Within my gumdrop directory, I can see that a .log of folder was created and there's a URLs file in there. I can copy that and this is a unique URL that allows me to access the gumdrop for that wallet that I specified. This is a unique URL for that browser wallet that I put in the distribution list. So over here, if once I see the app, I can see that the handle matches the wallet's address of my browser wallet, which means only my browser wallet can obtain a whitelist from this gumdrop tool. Just to prove this to you, let me quickly select my other wallet that I did not include in the distribution list. And you can see that there is no way to claim the gumdrop. Awesome. And now let's go back to our browser wallet that was included in the distribution list. And I can now see that claim gumdrop is available. If I head back to the wallet in the distribution list, I can now see that I can successfully claim a gumdrop. And in the Phantom extension, you'll, you can now see the transaction and it shows that I will be obtaining one whitelist token. The browser wallet is the one that is paying the gas and paying to fund the associated token account in order to hold this whitelist token. And the NFT collection creator is not having to do that. Hence why you save a lot of money using Gumdrop. Amazing. In order to do this on scale, what you can do is find all the wallets and create a much larger distribution list. 
This will create unique URLs for each of those wallets, which you can hand out to the wallet owners so that they can claim a whitelist token via Gumdrop. Let me show you how to do this on Discord because Discord is used so much in Web3 and I think Gumdrop's Discord integration is quite nice. In order to do this, we need to create a Discord bot. This, this is how we distribute our unique Gumdrop links to people so that they can obtain a whitelist token. Let's create a bot. Let's give it a name. And then let's add a bot to the app and reset the token. We want to make sure we save this token because we will need it later when we create the gumdrop. So I'm going to save that to my little notes. Finally, for now, I'll just give it administrative purposes. And then what I can do is give my Discord bot access to my Discord server. I can generate a URL and authorize it. And we can see that the Discord bot appeared in the server. Great. Okay, in order to create Gumdrop for Discord, we need to obtain the Discord IDs instead of the wallet. So I'm going to copy over my Discord ID and insert it in that whitelist.json file. Now I will go back to the Gumdrop create command and change the distribution method to Discord instead of wallets. The distribution list remains the same because I updated that list. And then finally, I need my Discord token so I can have access to the bot, which will inform people of their unique URL. So let me paste that in and let's run the command. Amazing. So you'll see similar things printed as before, but more importantly, let's go over to Discord and check our DMs. I can now see that the whitelist bot DM'd me and gave me a special link to Gumdrop. I can access this by clicking on the link and I can see a gumdrop page that was created specifically for me. And this page will let me obtain my whitelist token. Amazing. Let's claim it. And you can see again, I'm going to obtain another whitelist token. Thank you so much for watching. Now you know how to create and distribute whitelist tokens and associate them with your NFT collection. I hope this was helpful. See you soon.